Of course, many of us will be tuned in to watch the big game coming up next Sunday, but behind the scenes, we cannot forget about or overlook the public safety uh, experts that put forth so much effort to make sure that we are able to have fun in that situation. Joining us today are two of the nation's top public safety experts to fill us in on how they prepare for such a large scale event. We've got Mr. Bill Bratton, former police commissioner of New York City, LA and Boston. He's also currently the chairman of Tenio Risk and is also on the Verizon First Responder Advisory Council. We also have Andres Orlando, SVP and president of public sector at Verizon. Thanks you both for joining us. So first of all, Commissioner Bratton, uh, can you just let us know what it's been like throughout the pandemic, how preparing for the big game has changed this year? Well, the run-up to a Super Bowl event is a two-year planning initiative. Uh, I was commissioner in New York in 2014, and it was privileged to lead that effort back then. And for the last several years, I've worked with Verizon as they have sought to ensure that they meet the communications needs of the many public safety first responders that are going to be, in this case, in Tampa. That the absolute essentiality of communications in a major event like this cannot be underestimated, and Verizon does not underestimate. If anything, uh, there's over planning for these events to ensure that nothing goes wrong in the run up to, during the game, or after the game. So the public should feel assured that the collaboration and coordination between public safety first responder agencies, a multiplicity that will be there in Tampa, will be assured with the technology that Verizon is going to make available to them. And so the public should uh, uh, just have a great time watching the game, despite the coronavirus issues this year, that uh, their experience will still be an enjoyable one. Yes, sir. And we again appreciate so much you guys efforts and your attention to detail so that we can rest easy and enjoy ourselves. So, Andreas, how has uh, Verizon been supporting the big game support, how they've been helping out the city of Tampa uh, and how has pan the pandemic again changed the way that you guys are doing what you do? Jimmy, for decades, Verizon's been working side by side with first responders to keep communities safe uh, during Super Bowls. And this year is uh, no different. So there's a few things that we're doing. Uh, first, as we have in years past, uh, we've stood up our uh, Verizon Command Center, uh, where we have more than 100 engineers and technicians monitoring and managing the network around the clock, uh, both in Raymond James Stadium as well in, as Greater uh, Tampa. We also are on site at the Florida State Joint uh, Operations Emergency Operations Center, side by side with law enforcement, uh, the Tampa uh, Police Department and other public safety agencies to make sure we're coordinated and collaborating closely. And uh, while uh, uh, COVID has introduced some wrinkles for sure to this year's event, our uh, commitment as America's number one uh, network for public safety remains the same, which is to ensure that first responders are connected when it matters most whether that's to our uh, 4G LTE network, America's most reliable, or to our 5G, the world's fastest uh, network, and to ensuring that first responders have the most advanced uh, solutions and technologies available to them to keep the community safe and to keep themselves safe in defending the community. Being prepared is 95% of the job most of the time. So thank you for preparing the first responders. How can our viewers be prepared with more information? Where can we go? Uh, for more information, Jimmy, please uh, uh, visit verizon.com slash public safety. Thank you very much, Bill Bratton and Andres Orlando. Thank you so very much for what you guys do and that of all of the first responders out there. Folks, of course, this information is going straight to firstcoastliving.net.